Welcome to I Love Stocks, and today I want to talk about JFIN. JFIN. She had a great run today, and she's from China. She's a China play. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, Jalen Group operates an online individual financial marketplace that connects individual investors to individual borrower, borrowers in China. It operates and secures an open platform that facilitates and transparent, secure, and fast connections between investors and borrowers. The company was founded in 2011 and is headquartered in Shanghai in the People's Republic of China. So she's definitely had a pretty good run today. And I just want to kind of go ahead and bring up the chart and we'll run through the chart real fast and see if we can find us some supports and pivot points. But also this stock, let me see if I can find this for a second, was one of our plays of the day. JFIN, we called this out last week on the 18th at approximately about 7.20. The dollar amount was about 720, and it had a high today of 1495, which gave an over 100% trade, and that came from Vegas. And also, we have to give some credit to Tony. Tony was involved in this trade too, so we do appreciate that. So we're going to go straight into the chart and check it out. I'm going to use my EMAs. We've had a, a double top break, which was right here, right around this level, right in here at. 10.53, and that was when it was alerted around today, too, in the room, again, right around 10.53, and we popped up to daily high, and it did have a yearly high up here right around 30 bucks on a big old fat finger, so yeah, can this thing climb back up here? It probably could if the momentum picks up and the way it's been trading. We're going to go ahead and look at the 20-day uh, chart, see if there's anything in here that we see. We did kind of have a top a peak right in here I had a nice little breakout it started on the 17th and then really took off on the 18th and then she pulled back friday and then we had that retracement bounce back up uh would that a bit would i've been able to call that support level on the pullback probably not because i'd have said probably right around seven bucks but she pulled back here right around 765 and we're going to put a little channel right in here just in case it does decide to pull back. We are pulling back after hours. As you can see, the price is now at 1378. So, where's support at this trade? I like catching these knives. So, I think support is going to be a little channel, first one in a way, between this 1155 and right here between. Let me get this in here. Right there at 1196. Put that right there, color that in. So that first support, and then the second one's going to be right down here. I'm going to think right here at 1312. This is on the 20 day, one hour. So I'm going to draw that trend line right there. That's got a hold. Whoops. Right there at 1316. That's going to be your first support area. We'll talk that in red be able to pay attention to that. Then your second one's going to be right down here right around 1252 and we want this channel here to hold. And that's between 1155 and 1196. So anywhere in that if it does hold that would be great. If not she'll pull back to this lower support right around 11 bucks. But we'll be watching this in the morning. If it does have a nice little knife I'll be watching the action, the price action and the volume and see if the momentum comes back in. If not it can pull back more. But we need to break a resistance level here at 1463 come tomorrow, unless we break it tonight. But this was a nice trade to follow. Keep your eyes on it. We're going to put this on the daily one minute. This channel is very important in here, so I'm calling this area, that third place, that third support, a pivot point inside this bigger channel. 
So if it does pull back and hit that, that support level at 1252, that could be a buy too. So we've got three different support levels. We got 1316, 1252, and then this channel in here between 1155 and 1196. If that doesn't hold, we'll definitely be looking at it here at 1084 for the retracement back up. But so far, I like this 1252. I think, or even bounce off this 200 SMA, that'd be great on the daily one minute. Well, that's it for I Love Stocks. This is JFIN, one of our one of our plays of the day. I got in uh, Boeing today and pretty well got beat up on it, and then it, she came back, and I was able to get out with a small loss. But I'm still bullish on Boeing. I just got to wait for it to pull back. I mean, it's had a great run, and that's the excuses for the fat cats that were wanting to sell it off. It's, at least that's what they said on CNBC today. It's had too big of a run for a short period of time. That's Boeing. So, JFIN was a play of the day called by Vegas. We called it on the 18th, up 108% from 720 to 1495. Hit that like button if you like. Always follow us here on Twitter. If you're not in the room, you can see some of our posts that we put in here on Twitter. And also we do have our stock twits, which are right up in here, Pinterest. And then we have our YouTube channel. And that's it for I Love Stocks. See you tomorrow.